Hi Libra, this is Just with your May 7th, 2019 weekly reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Libra, uh, some of you definitely, your car is on the fritz and you can't get it fixed or you can't, you can't get rid of the car. It's um, a lemon <laughs> and you can't get it you can't get it fixed or you can't get rid of the car. There may be something that is irreparable, okay? But you can't get rid of it. And you may be saying, I love that car. I've had that car, so, you know, but you may still have a loan on it um, or something. So you may be upside down when it comes to your car. Definitely see about your car. If you've been pulling it, putting it off, putting it off, try not to put it off any longer. Go and get your car taken care of before you have a lemon before it dies on you. So just, you know, just try to take care of your car situation. Um, I feel like some of you definitely are waiting for some money to come in. It may have come in and you're probably expecting more. <laughs> so congratulations, there could have been a job offer that came in and you could be working with familiar people, okay? Um, there may be an opportunity for you at a far, someplace else. Some of you could be planning a trip to see family, friends at a far and, and you're really happy about that. I do feel like there's some type of decision that's needing to be made or will be made um, that still needs more consideration, you know, to completely move forward. Uh, some of you are thinking about, you know, so you're you're looking at schools for you, your children, is, you know, you're researching, do we do we now have to move uh, because we're, we want to go to this desired school? You know, you're looking at a lot of, you, you're dealing with a lot of little mundane things, I feel, this week and trying to get yourself prepared for the next stage of life. There's a lot of contemplation about wanting to finish off a certain career, a certain job. You're wanting to move on to bigger and better. You're not really sure how you're going to get there, but you know that um, something new is going to make you happier. Okay. Um, yeah, it's going to make you happier. I feel that this is a busy week for you guys. You're, you're carrying a lot of burdens, burdens upon burdens. So be kind of careful with that. You may even have a back problems is what I'm saying here. So be, be careful with that. Um, don't overstress yourself about things you can't control right now because it looks like things are going to work out you're you'll feel a lot lighter as we get closer to the end of the week i think mercury going into taurus is going to do everyone a lot better i feel when mercury was in aries it was giving everyone a run for their money so you end the week off really happy and some good news coming in or feeling like you got the go ahead yes you can take the trip yes you can get your vacation yes uh family is coming in there's some yes to something that's been an anticipation and there's still some type of a either like i said a trip uh, a journey you're taking a move a relocation that you're taking that you're looking forward to OK, you may be waiting for the go ahead or you may be waiting for another person's OK, like they're in, they're going to, they're going to do it too, is what I see here. Work looks to be um, busy. Again, work looks very, very busy. And a lot of you are looking at wanting to do something that you love, wanting to do something that you that your makes your heart sing. Um, you want more than just a paycheck to just get a job, but you really want to love what you do now. It's what some of you are starting to think about. This week is going to blink. You're going to blink and this week will be over. Um, I feel like a lot of you are not focusing on money. I still can't believe I'm saying that to a Libra. But some of you are not focusing on money. You may be skipping work <laughs> to kind of go after something else is something that is making you guys really happy it could be again spending time with family it could be planning this trip it could be something that you kind of have to get out of the more practical areas of your life to kind of deal with um if you're planning to not work be careful make sure you you've gotten approval time because someone may be calling you like where are you at where are you and you're like oh well i had the day off that type of thing um I do see money coming in. So if you're waiting for money to come in, that will be coming in from some form of institution, student loan. Um, I feel people are a little bit more apt to see things your way this week. So, you know, it'd be a good time to kind of reach out to people. Uh, the advice for you guys is to let go of any mental hangups and free yourself because things are coming in. A lot of great things are happening for you. So pay attention to that. When it comes to love, some of you 
something that you wished for and really wanted to happen is probably not moving forward, but it's not completely ending either. I do feel like some of you know what you want or maybe know a person that you want or have someone that's important to you, but you guys may not be speaking at this point in time. Um, you may even be and visiting someone at the hospital is what I'm getting here and um, picking them up a gift is what it looks like. Uh, there could have been an accident and you know I'm, I don't get any pleasure out of saying that, but that's kind of what I see here. Some of you are, has probably just entered into a new relationship. Your relationship is on an upswing right now. You guys may be planning a trip absolutely to deepen your bond together. Like, yeah, we're, we're going, we're going on this trip. You're probably going on an international trip. And you, even though you've made a decision that this is what I need to do, it's not completely taking your mind off of someone or something. Okay. Um, some of you may be questioning yourself, like, is this what I, is this it? Is this really it? Like, <laughs> are we doing this? Um, yeah. And I feel that some of you, your mate, for some of you, may be working a lot, like a hell of a lot to pull this off, to, you know, take this trip. This may be a trip that's like, wow, it's one for the books. Like we're going, you know, a place that, you know, we may be staying someplace amazing. We'd be going someplace amazing. Um, I feel like some of you have been carrying burdens for quite some time and the fact that you love someone a lot, like you really love this person or you have someone in your life that truly loves you. And you may not be, especially if you're a Libra man, you may not be uh, completely ready to say your I love yous. You know, you may be showing them in other ways, but not necessarily by, maybe not verbally, I feel that some of you, um, there's going to be a lot of messages. So some of you, you just have a really good rapport with your mate right now, or this new love is happening so fast. Like things are happening fast that you're not even focusing on work and you're not focusing on the things that matter the most to you because this person doesn't give you a minute to breathe. It's like they're constantly calling you. They're constantly over. They constantly want to go here. They constantly want to go there. So you're constantly always on the go with this person, always doing something. Life may be very hectic. Um, but you feel happy and I feel like you're going to feel even happier as we get closer to the end of the week. Like, wow, you know, I'm taking this complete leap. I'm falling in. I'm so happy that, you know, I'm in love with my partner. Things are going really well with my partner. What the hell happened last week? Last week, you guys were planning to get the hell out. <laughs> now you're now you're happy to be in. Uh, for some of you, there may be, again, freeing yourself or others of you, rather, you're freeing yourself. Um from a relationship okay and you're happy about that you're now able to get to the next level you're gonna probably move like move at a distance away or closer to your family closer to someone that's familiar to you and it's almost like you can't wait can't wait to leave um and you're really happy to be able to move forward you may already meet someone if you put yourself out there if definitely if you're single you may meet, meet someone um this person could be at a distance i get a lot of long distance energy between you and another person uh, for others of you who are not at a distance you you're taking some far some kind of a trip someone's probably going to school but there's some type of distance journey that someone is on in this relationship and the end of the week is going to look really good as far as like whether you're single getting out of something moving on by yourself i do feel like if you're trying to move on from a relationship you will still get love or me love messages for someone saying that they miss you you don't want to work on the situation it's not going to stop this person from wanting to come back to you um and ultimately it's going to be your decision as to what you do when it comes to this relationship by the end of the week. But there is going to be some type of confirmation when it comes to areas of love for Libras. When is it not? When is it When is it ever? When is Libras ever having a hard time with love? I mean, usually it's no problem with Tauruses either, but you know, Taurus has Uranus, so there's all kind of shakers with Libra shit. Libra never seems to have a problem in the love area. Not for too long. Um... So yeah, um, and I feel like I want to see what's going on with you in this new love or this renewed love with your mate and what's going on there. Um, again, giving of your time, your energy is so much of a benefit right now. It's almost like nursing uh, a new baby, this relationship, even whether it's rekindled or if it's brand new, there's something about needing to kind of really feed it and nurture it that is going to solidify it any, even more. And there's someone who has to get something off their chest when it comes to you, 100%. Um, 
yeah, there's someone that has to get something off their chest and deal with something, okay, uh, so that they can move forward is what it looks like to me. Uh, so any extended, if you're interested, click that link below because we're going to look deeper into the love relationship. How does this person feel about you? What What is the outcome of this relationship? What could be the possible challenges? And if they have any regrets specifically to this person who is uh, you may have left behind, what are their regrets when it comes to you? Uh, and will you take them back? And what will your response be to them? If you're interested in any of that and, and more, click that link below and extend it. We can get started. Otherwise, let us know how this relates to you guys uh, and how this um how does re reading relates to you? Leave it in the comment section below if you'd like to. Uh, if you like something personal with me, I could be reaching the beginning and the end of this video. And if you are new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Libra.